Welcome back to another exciting lesson in science. Today we're going to be talking about gas laws, specifically Boyle's and Charles's laws, in just a few minutes. So we want to go ahead and write down our two column notes, title it 9-3 gas law notes. We've done two column notes before, just like this you see the two columns, so you're going to copy everything down just as you see it. And even the pictures that you see, you'll want to at least sketch them as best you can and label them just like I do here. All right, so what is gas behavior? Well, gas behavior, uh, gases will behave differently than what solids and liquids typically do. And gas volume is affected by two things. Number one, it's temperature. Number two, it's pressure. Now, gases and temperature. Temperature, we learned, is how fast or slow particles move. Now, the faster those particles get moving, so as we heat things up, uh, those particles move faster and they create more energy. The slower particles move, cooler it is, the less energy there is. And this is one of the reasons why uh, in the winter time we see our car tires, we have to pump them up more because as the temperature goes down, um, we see the particles slow down, so we lose pressure. Now, gases in volume. Volume of gas depends on the size of its container because we said gases will take whatever shape and size container that we put it in. For example, you can squeeze a balloon because the particles can be compressed. We have all those space between those particles and we can compress them as much as we want. And this is due because of all that space between the particles. Now pressure. Let's talk about pressure here. Pressure is defined as the amount of force exerted on a given surface area. All right, let's put that in sixth grade definition. Sixth grade definition says it's actually the number of times the particles hit the inside of a container. So the greater the pressure, the more times the particles are hitting the inside of that container. The faster the particles move, the more pressure you have. The slower the particles move, the less pressure. So when we see, uh, for example, our picture over here, we see high pressure. We see those particles are packed in there pretty good, and they're moving around pretty fast, so they're creating high pressure. Over here, they're more spread out. They don't hit each other as much or the sides of the uh, container wall, so we have less pressure. Now, let's talk about our gas laws. We have two, Boyle's law, Charles's law. Boyle's law says that as the pressure increases, our volume will decrease. Or as the volume increases, our pressure will decrease. We say that they are inversely proportional. So if one goes up, the other goes down. There's a three letter code to help you remember Boyle's. Remember BPV, B for Boyle's, P for pressure, V for volume. And we can look over here and we'll see this. Here's low pressure. We're not pushing down on this lid and our volume's fairly large. There's a lot of space there. Now when I add pressure and I push down on the lid, our volume now decreases. You can see the amount of space has shrunk. Okay. Now let's take a look at a video that demonstrates Boyle's Law that I did here in class. All right. Today we're talking about Boyle's Law. Boyle's, BPV, stands for Boyle's Pressure Volume at a Constant Temperature. Our, our variables here are inversely proportional, meaning if one goes up, the other goes down. So in this case, if pressure increases, our volume will decrease, or if our pressure decreases, our volume will increase. Well, let's see what happens when we do that in a basic little demonstration here. Um, I'm going to take something very simple. We're going to take a marshmallow, we're going to take a vacuum jar, and we're going to see what happens. And we'll see if Boyle's is actually right, and I bet you he is. So I'm going to go ahead and set our camera down just about right there. We're going to take this big fluffy marshmallow, we're going to set it inside the middle of our uh, jar, and we're going to put the vacuum jar over the top. We'll make sure we got a good seal. Now, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the pressure, which means according to Boyle's law, our volume should increase. And we should see the volume of that marshmallow get bigger. So here we go. We'll start it off. All right, there we go. Pressure is decreasing. We can see the volume of that marshmallow continues to continue and continue to get bigger and bigger. Now, if I take the top and I change it around and I increase the pressure, that means our volume of the marshmallow will now decrease. All right, so Boyle's was right. All right, so there was Boyle's Law. It's a good demonstration. I'll show you some more demonstrations in class as we get a little further. Last but not least, we have Charles's Law. 
Charles says that as the temperature increases, our volume increases also. Or as the temperature decreases, the volume decreases. We, see, we say that they are directly proportional. So if one goes up, the other goes up. One goes down, the other goes down. Charles has a three-letter code hint as well, CTV. C for Charles, T for temperature, V for volume. Over here you'll see, uh, right here we're at low temperature, and notice our volume. Okay, now we come over here, we have high, or high temperature and our volume has increased. So one goes up, the other goes up. One goes down, the other goes down. That's Charles's law. Now, I have a video for Charles's law as well. Uh, let's take a look right here. Maybe. There we go. All right, today we're talking about Charles's law. Charles's law, CTV, Charles temperature volume uh, at a constant pressure. Charles's law is directly proportional, which means if the temperature goes up, the volume of the object goes up, or if the temperature goes down, the volume of the object goes down. So let's do a little demonstration here to show you how Charles works. We got some good boiling water going here. Of course, this is at constant pressure. Now, ever find a ping pong ball at home where it's accidentally indented like this? And of course, it doesn't really work now because you got a flat side. Don't throw it out because guess what? Charles's law will help you fix it. So you take this ball, and we put it in this nice boiling water here, all right? for just a few seconds, and as it's boiling, uh, the temperature, of course, is going up inside the ball, causing the particles to move around faster and faster, which therefore causes our volume to increase. And we should have a nice ping pong ball. Very carefully, I'll pull this out. There you go. Now, we have a perfectly good ping pong ball with no dents in it at all. All right, so Charles helped us out there. So he was right. Next, let's take this balloon, and as I put this balloon in the jar, notice what happens to the balloon. It continues to expand as it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. All right, Charles says as the temperature increases, the volume of the balloon's going to increase too, and it just gets bigger and bigger. I have to keep pulling this uh, video camera back a little bit more each time uh, as the temperature goes up. All right, our volume is also increasing. So Charles, you were right, all right? And as the temperature uh, starts to decrease, we also see the volume of the balloon decrease as well. All right, there's Charles' law. All right, so there's our gas law notes. If you have any questions, be sure to ask me in class.